Hello everyone, this is your five and welcome to the Cobra Mass I Tutorial Review. And today so we'll be looking at the 2009 release by Hasbro of the G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra Vehicle and Action Figure Review. And today's Vehicle and Action Figure Review we'll be looking at the Target exclusive or Ross exclusive of the Arctic Tread Air Assault Glider with Captain Ace. Now I got in this Thanks to KG Trains, who's from Texas, who bought this in a Ross Mall for $5.99. Original pricing is $11. They actually have a, well, a sale going on at that time. And then, along with the other items as well, ship all those items, including this, all the way to Malaysia to me as a gift. So, thank you so very much, KG Trains, for this wonderful, wonderful gift. Because this Target exclusive vehicle packs here don't actually appear at all in Malaysia because Hasbro Malaysia didn't brought any of this wonderful vehicle packs to Malaysia so it was rather disappointing but here's a funny thing these vehicle packs in this wave itself originally meant for a Target exclusive as you can see the logo up there but they only put this on their shelves for a few months until they took it off from the shelves and then ship it to Ross instead and well from that onwards they only stay on the shelf for several months until they take it off as well you may find some of these vehicle packs in some Ross malls or well you can always try eBay because that's the only way to find this now let's take a look at the front portion of the packaging itself like always the top section of the packaging we have the GI Joe logo with the word the sentence of the Rise of Cobra. Top section here, a smaller write-up stating what's G.I. Joe really about. Now at the front portion of the packaging, I really love the artwork. The artwork is very nicely done and very detailed. Here we have the air assault glider, well actually gliding with Captain Ace holding the handles there, firing the minigun and the missile. Not too sure what is he firing at because the one near to him is the Cobra plan according to the back portion of the packaging not too sure what sort of plan it is power plan factory plan I don't know didn't actually specify but on top of the balcony itself there's three Neo Vipers two of them are trying to fire towards the air so glider there very nicely done with the details of the plan the snow all this stuff is nicely done with the mountains on the bottom section here you got the trees as well very detailed stuff and what's funny about this packaging especially on the front portion here there's a smaller write-up stating product shown in fantasy situation <laughs> it's quite interesting actually now on one section here you got a smaller window that displays the figure on the side you got a nicer artwork for the figure itself and also quite detailed stuff bottom section there nothing much smaller write-up where it manufactured and also telling you to visit the .com. and there's also the price tag there on the other side here a smaller write-up on well for the pursuit of Cobra line very nice now let's take a look at the back portion of the packaging here we got a small little file card for Captain Ace. Now it's stated here Captain Ace is a pilot on the GI Joe team and a former Air Force fighter pilot. At home in the cockpit of almost any type of aircraft, he has flown numerous missions all over the world. He performs test flights on the, of the team's advanced and prototype aircraft. Here got a nicer image of the character itself. Here stated Captain Ace Brad J. Armbruster, you got a nicer GI Joe logo on one side here, serial number 223-35-BJ74, great captain, bracket 0-3, and bracket, preferred weapon 820 selective fire, long range, fully automatic assault rifle, very nice. Here you got a smaller write-up of the Arctic Tread mission, flying over the frozen tundra in an air assault Glider Captain Ace descends towards a manufacturing plant, or is a manufacturing plant, to observe the unknown facility more closely. The building's doors burst open and Cobra Troopers pour out of the plant. 
When they start firing at him, he takes aim with the glider's multi-barrel cannon and A2G missiles. Very nice. Here, you got a nicer image of the ASL glider in a glider mode with Captain Ace Vega holding the handle. It actually comes with two modes. The secondary mode will be the assault pack. Very nice. So we have further ado. Let's open up this packaging so we can molest the toys. Be right back. And we're back of the ring of figure and the rest of stuff out from the packaging. Now let's take a look at Captain A's accessories. Now it's normal and typical for the G.I. Joe the rest of Cobra vehicle packs that came along with a figure. It doesn't pack the figure with a base stand as shown like so. And this is all he has. He does come with a pair of submachine guns, which is quite rare to see on a pilot figure for an aircraft vehicle vehicle packs. Normally the well, the vehicle packs of an aircraft with a pilot, the pilot is only given with, well, a few accessories which consists of either a pistol, a base stand, a helmet, or a weapon gear. And that's about it, or either one of those combined. But for the Arctic Threat Captain Asia, it does come with a pair of submachine guns made of a, of course, grey plastic material colour with no paint job at all and the mold is totally new or at least unique as this does not appear in the 25th anniversary line itself or any other of the Rise of Kura figures very nice now this entire thing don't actually have a lot of details it's quite actually basic stuff you got a handle here and you can see there's a big old trigger very very long trigger magazine clip in the middle another handle from the front you got the barrel in the tip here targeting sights on the top and that's about it the other submachine gun is also the same mold so that's nothing to shout about there but it's quite nicely done especially when you're given a pilot figure with two submachine guns to well, pose around with now there's no way for you to store the two submachine guns because, well, the figure doesn't have any backpacks to store the two submachine guns with. Neither that you can actually store any of the weapons to the glider itself. So it's a bit pity. Now, before we go on to the figure's paint job, we will have to talk to them talk about the figure's mold first. Basically, the figure's mold is nothing new. Basically, it's a direct repaint so the entire figure's mold is exactly the same as the 2008 target exclusive of the well the conquest x30 vehicle pack that came along with lieutenant slipstream basically the same figure with no changes and the head is actually made from tripwire the torso waist and arms came from snow job of course they're all 25th anniversary and the legs actually came from the 25th anniversary Captain Ace so yes nothing new there which is actually kind of sad they would have well they should have made a new head sculpt for the Rise of Cobra Arctic Threat Captain Ace because Captain Ace don't, don't even come with a mustache here only Lieutenant Slip, Slipstream actually come with a mustache now Let's take a look at the figure's paint job. Now, for the Arctic Track version, I prefer this color because it fits more nicely to your 25th anniversary of the Conquest X30 colors because that plane is in gray and for this Arctic Track version, the uniform is in gray. So it's, it matches up quite well compared to this version. As you can see there. Now, the paint job of the figure itself the entire head is made of a green plastic material color like so so the flesh tone skin is actually painted so that's the mustache and the chin strap the visor is painted in a very dull metallic green paint job the entire body here yes the entire body very nicely done is actually made of a mild well, gray plastic material color so the gray well at least lighter gray the darker gray parts are actually painted except for the belt there the belt is actually a separate piece that attach onto the figure the only paint job on the belt is on the buckles so 
for the figure itself, the straps, the tie, the lower legs there, it's all painted in dark grey. Green pouches, silver buttons are painted as well. And we have painted gloves. Because the hands is actually made of a light grey plastic material colour. So it's painted in black. Straps are painted in black, pouches are painted in black. So there's nothing much to shout about. It's basically the same figure with a th different paint job, but I still prefer this figure, well, uniform color, because it actually matches up very well to, let's say, your Conquest X30 or the new 30th Anniversary Sky Striker, which is very nice. It matches up the color very well. Now, I don't want to go through the hassle of showing you the articulation on the figure because it's basically the same thing which I already covered in the review for the Conquest X30 with Lieutenant Slipstream review. So if you want to see more details on the figure itself, just click on the link here. So if I want to give a rating on this figure, I say it does look a bit more better compared to well, the original slipstream that was released in the 25th anniversary line. So if I'm going to give a rating on this, I say I'll give it a nice 6 out of 10. Yes, 6 out of 10 for Captain Ace. Next up, we'll take a look at the Air Assault Glider. Be right back. And we're back after fully assembling the Air Assault Glider with applying all the sticker labels onto it. Now, first things first, it does come with a smaller instruction manual. On one side here, detailing on how to assemble the glider itself, which is very easy. All you have to do is snap on the wings for the body itself, towards the body, or, well, assembling it and turn it into the assault pack. On the other side is a smaller instruction sheet detailing on where to place all the sticker labels and it's not a lot of sticker labels that you need to apply there's only like nine pieces of sticker labels that you need to apply and this is the size of it very very small now let's take a look at the ASL gliders accessories yes not counting the gliders handlebars it does come with two accessories which is the removable missiles both missiles there actually have a peg here you can connect to the bottom section here or if you pry open the wings itself you can connect here for the assault pack mode which is very easy to plug in and plug out the missiles is actually made of a grey plastic material colour with red paint job on the top section here as you can see the line is painted in red and three smaller lines painted at the bottom there both missiles is the same now the entire glider here is made of a dull white plastic material color except for the missiles and the handlebars and the minigun there the rest of the stuff is just pure dull white plastic material color and the entire thing is painted with well an arctic camouflage very nice from top and bottom all painted and each side of the wings itself they are two missiles on each side of the wings and they are painted in red very nice very nicely done now this minigun here is made of a grey dark grey plastic material colour so that's not part of the body it's a separate part of the body itself now the details of the glider itself is very nice as I mentioned before each side of the wings actually has two missiles very nice you get to see all the platings on the bolts as you can see all the plating the flaps at the back end of the wings itself on top of the section of the body of the glider there's two machine guns in the middle here we have the minigun bottom section there's even more details a lot of rivets bolts panels and flaps very nicely done with the details there of course we still have the two missiles there's a big old pick that plugs in at the back portion of the figure itself you got the handle bar which is a separate part of the entire glider itself so you can actually remove the entire glider handle bars there that's actually made of a well dark grey plastic material color very nicely done 
And for a glider, it actually packs with a lot of weapons. Uh, well, two machine guns, one mini gun, four red missiles, and two larger missiles. A lot of weapon for a glider. Very nice, a lot of nice, nice little details there. Very nice. Now let's place the figure onto the glider itself. All you have to do is just plug in this peg onto the back of the figure's body, like so. And have him wield the handlebars. Which is a bit awkward at times when you have them have the figure wield the handlebars. But it still works. Very nice. Now for the assault pack mode, all you have to do is detach the missiles and the handlebars. There's no instruction on where you place the handlebars. You have to detach them anyway. Detach the wings. Place the wings onto the bottom section like so. Place the missiles on each side of the glider. And there you have it. We have well, the assault pack, very nice. Now the entire mode is nothing new for the glider itself. The glider is actually came from the G.I. Joe vs. Cobra Spy Troops line that was released in 2003. So the glider is nothing new there. And it was released again for the Rise of Cobra line from the previous wave as well. So this glider has been released like for this one the third time already. But I really like the details. The details on the mode is very nice. There's a lot of weapons for the entire glider. Very, very nice. The paint job is also quite nicely done. Despite that it's quite simple for a vehicle pack, I really like this glider. So if I'm gonna give a rating on this, I say for a simple vehicle pack, especially for a cost of $5.99 I say I'll give it a nice 8 out of 10 yes 8 out of 10 for the uh, assault glider despite that the gimmick is abs absolutely too simple but at least that's a gimmick there for a glider instead of one single piece of a glider where well it's just a glider at least you have here two modes a glider and an assault pack so, 8 out of 10 for the Air Assault Glider. I thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05 and I'm signing off.